Hey guys, uh, please excuse the mess, <clears throat> and uh, pardon me while I read from a little script here. Um, this video is going to be the first in a series. Some viewers have asked for a, for a, a start to finish detailed tech for harmala extraction, and I'm always trying new methods to maximize yield and priority, so I don't really follow a specific tech. Um, I take the bare bones of, uh, of stuff that I've, uh, that I've researched and absorbed on the net and kind of uh, monkey with it. I'm always looking for maximum yield and maximum purity. So sometimes these extractions can really just rack into days and days and days of effort and I'll wind up with a really great product but like fucking hardly any of it. Or uh, whatever like that. So anyway, it's always there's always some shit going on, um, and uh, anyway, let me go back to my script here. Uh, this time I'm going back to basics using volumes and proportions specified by the man who invented and published this process in 1927, Richard Mansky. I had to modify his method, of course. Instead of soaking two or three days in a weak vinegar solution and pressing the liquid out, I uh, I attempt to boil the seeds at the right ratio of seed to water. Um, and uh, I'll also be using the ratio of 100 grams of table salt per liter of water to precipitate the hydrochloride. And uh, because that's the, that's the step that I've been having trouble with, uh, I've had a couple of, uh, of failed precipitations and I think it's because my solution wasn't concentrated enough. So I'm, I'm going to really keep my concentrations high and my volumes low, and I'm going to try to I'm going to follow the I'm going to follow the spec for 100 grams per liter of salt water, but I'm going to I'm ju just going to add a little bit of salt water and then and wait and watch and see if it takes off, and then add a little bit more after a few hours if that doesn't start it. And I'm going to keep doing that looking for a, a slow reaction that grows me long, uh, strong, hardy crystals. Um, when I have what looks like a dish of fiberglass, then I know I've done it right. Um, so yeah, Mansky's first soak, he talks about, he talks about uh, soaking the seeds grinding up the seeds and then soaking the seeds in three times their weight in 3% uh, uh, vinegar solution, which is almost straight vinegar. Vinegar, the, the vinegar I buy is 5%, so it's like you could just sh shoot a little water in it and call it good. You could probably just use straight vinegar for the process. Um, but the problem is he, he calls to let that soak for two or three days until you have this, um, this thick paste and then to press the paste. And I don't have any way to press anything like that, so I'm just not going to monkey with that. Um, I did my first boil, and uh, and I, I I ended up after everything was said and done. I ended up with about 44 ounces of of, uh, of soup and and harmala alkaloids. So I called that good. That was like three times. I, I had a pound of seed, so. That was like three pounds ish, right? So, um, and this is the second boil, and it should yield around 32 ounces of soup from one pound of seed. So let's let's go ahead and dump that. I really hope you guys can see what's going on here, but let's dump that and see what happens. And um, I have a I have a wide mouth receptacle, and it's it's. Pretty stable there in the bottom of my sink. Plus, I have a little spill containment because, yeah, man, I have spilled bad before. So let's let's just cross our fingers and hope here. There's going to be a lot of seed come out. That's why I'm using this. This is 100 mesh silk screen that I bought at the local head shop, fucking a decade ago. So we'll go slow, but not so slow that it runs back down the back side of the lip of the pot. We hope. Oh yeah. Now the question is, did I did I put enough of a pouch of silk screen in there 
to catch enough of the seed to get enough of the liquid to be doing what I want to do. Yeah, I think I'll be, <gasps> Ooh, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, because at some point the seeds sort of find their equilibrium and then you're pouring off pretty much just straight liquid. Now I'm hoping this will come out to about a liter. I think a quart is just a little bit less than a liter. That's 32 ounces, I'm thinking. So I'm just going to keep pouring this shit as long as it'll dribble for me. And, I mean, as you can see, it's easy to make a catastrophic fuck, fucking mistake because there's, I mean, there's a little, there's a little mini avalanche here. And I, I could have put a lid on this and kind of half cocked the lid and done it like that. But that's just more shit for my hands to hold. And I have got fucked up hands. So I'll just try to exercise some patience here instead. And it's coming off the lip clean. I, re I really haven't spilled anything, so I'm pretty, pretty thrilled about that. And the way this filter works, I've got it clipped onto the top of the. I've got it clipped on the top of the. Uh, of the receptacle there, so it doesn't fall in. And then when I'm. When I'm done pouring this off, which I guess I am now. Um, then it's no problem for me to, uh, to pick this up and just pull it straight off. Um, try not to get the clips anywhere where they're going to cause a problem. And then I can, I can squeeze this out a little bit. And I can see I'm I'm shy of, I'm a little bit shy of a liter or a quart, whatever. Um, not sure how far shy yet. But, oh, see, that fucking hurts. That's nonsense right there. Oh, well, it's just at three quarters of a liter, and that's all right with me. I, I can dig that. I can dig that. So <clears throat> let me take this, move it, and. Um, yeah, my left hand is almost completely worthless. So now I can take this little pack of seeds here, this little bundle of seeds, and just go right back in there with it. Get a little shaky shake it. And um, then I can just, I won't make too much of a mess by just tapping this. And then, let me get this blender out of the way real quick. So theoretically, this is going to be according to Mansky. Actually, Mansky doesn't do a third soak. Um, he just calls for the first and the second. But I'm going to go ahead and, um, and add an equal weight of water to these seeds. which is going to be like 16 ounces. And uh, this is 16 ounces right here. Um, but that's, fuck. All right. I just have to rinse this out because it was used, the last time I used it was to precipitate some base. And I don't want any base in this right now. So I'm just going to rinse this out with a splash of vinegar, which I don't have a lot of, and I need my vinegar. So this jar should feel privileged. But it's got a 16 ounce, me 16 ounce measuring line on it. And 
And, and I was a little bit under on the last, on that last pitch, was, uh, that last pour was 0.75 of a liter, and it was supposed to be like 0.9 of a liter. So I'm going to just throw the extra in here, and I'm going to rinse my rinse my filter back into the pot with that hot water that is so incredibly fucking hot. Swirl that around, and boy, that barely. That barely even, uh, I mean, I can barely even see the water in there. So, but it is what it is. That's, I'm following Mansky's proportions. So, um, after I'm done with this, I'm going to boil this. We'll simmer it for just a little bit with the lid on. Um, I don't want to really drive any water off, but I'll simmer this gently for a minute. And then I'm going to combine combine the soup from all three poles and then we're going to start uh, we're going to start um, start the Mansky process and see if we can't get some long thick big crystals so I'll get back to you <laughs> 